COVID-19 has been causing worldwide hysteria and panic. And during stressful times, fear and ignorance, a dangerous combination, have catalyzed into the spreading of fiction, wrongfully fueling racism and stigmatizing people of Asian descent. This video of a woman being attacked in a New York subway station went viral. The victim was said to be a Chinese woman wearing a mask. This video shows a man on a New York subway having an argument with an Asian man, saying he doesn't want to be sitting near him and then spraying Febreze toward him. Another racially charged confrontation between shoppers and an Asian customer at a Target in California was shared on social media. In the very early stage of the virus spread, people speculated that the coronavirus had been transmitted to human from bats. As this blame game started, Chinese people became the target, with global anger further inflamed by online videos of them eating bats. A video of Chinese blogger Meng Yun Wang eating bat met with a great criticism, making her publicly apologize. However, it turned out that this video was shot in 2016 during her trip to Palau where she introduced one of the country's dish. Another widely spread rumor is that the coronavirus is a human-engineered bioweapon leaked from the Wuhan Institute of Virology that houses China's National Biosafety Laboratory. They mishandled the virus that they were experimenting on in their lab in Wuhan. The lab there would be the source of that virus. Such conspiracies sprouted from speculation that the virus originated from the lab, which strongly denied the link to the outbreak. Even now, the exact origin of the virus has yet to be scientifically identified. Yet, racial profiling continues, and it could be said that some media outlets are in part responsible for it. Sacramento's local newspaper posted this map earlier this month, indicating areas with Asian and Pacific Islander populations within the county, but the post has now been deleted. This visualized map by the New York Times shows the travel patterns across China to take a thorough look into the trajectory of the virus. The post ended up being plastered with insulting and senseless comments toward China and its people. And US President Donald Trump played his part too. The president has openly called it the Chinese virus on his social media instead of using official terminology. Photos of his recent briefing notes taken by the Washington Post were later revealed, which showed the corona was crossed out with the word Chinese written over it. And in the face of criticism, this is what he said. Why do you keep using this? Because it comes from it's China. Racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. That's why. It comes from China. I you want to be accurate. Senator Barney Sanders wrote on Twitter, Trump is stoking anti-Chinese bigotry in response. And Hollywood stars have not remained silent about this. Lana Condor, the star of Netflix's To All the Boys I've Loved Before, sharply criticized Trump's remarks. Korean-American actor Daniel De Kim shared a video to inform that he was tested positive for the virus, pointing out he caught the virus within the states, not in China. Yes, I'm Asian. And yes, I have coronavirus, but I did not get it from China. I got it in America, in New York City. Randomly beating elderly, sometimes homeless Asian Americans is cowardly, heartbreaking, and it's inexcusable. And we're seeing people out in action launching campaigns and rallies against ongoing racial discrimination. A demonstration was held in San Francisco's Chinatown where hundreds of people marched the streets with the message to fight the virus, not the people. Other movements such as Watch the Hate campaign started by multiple Asian organizations and social media posts hashtagged I'm not a virus have been trending online as part of an effort to combat the rampant coronavirus-related discrimination. All this absurdity makes us think a lot about the human mind. Extreme fear tends to turn people violently against another, and the level of fear is very great around this viral pandemic. But clearly, the virus doesn't know our place of origin or the color of our skin. We should remember the conversation that we should be having is how to get ourselves out of this. Hate is but a distraction, never a solution.